Hello you guys, Jaden here back with another video. Today I'm going to go test out and turn on my GoPro. It's been about two weeks since I've used it. And one of my batteries just, I guess it just, wouldn't, the GoPro wouldn't turn on. It seemed like the thing was bricked. So what I did was I put in my, my spare GoPro battery and it turned on. So for some reason this current battery will not charge in uh, the GoPro. So I went out and bought this thing, unfortunately, because they discontinued any other battery. So they only sell these white ones right now that apparently are better in lower temperatures and hold more battery life, which I guess is a good thing because GoPro batteries, they're not horrible, but they're not as good as they could have been. So I went out and spent $65 after tax on this. I thought it was a little bit pricey, but uh, now I have this. It's actually quite small. I'm charging two batteries right now. So amber is basically charging and green is finished. I've seen third party ones that actually tell you the percentages on the battery. So I think that could be good. I don't know how well they perform, but I do really like how small these are. But, and then for some reason, when I put in the brick dead battery, it for some reason will charge in this thing. And I don't know why it won't charge in the GoPro itself, which is kind of odd. So now I guess I have four GoPro batteries. Uh, I like how small this thing is because you can actually take this with you. And then since everything's USB-C, you don't even need to bring a cable because most of us already have one. And charging the battery in the GoPro is kind of a pain. So, you know, $65, uh, honestly, I like it so far. And uh, keep you guys updated if anything bad happens to it, which I don't think it will because it just seems like a very simple device. But yeah, it's actually pretty awesome. And then you just, you just plug the batteries down in. It wasn't very, this is hidden amongst the uh, the box. It was the last thing to fall out. So yeah, I got, I got two, I guess I have four batteries for my GoPro now. So hopefully that's all good. But yeah, just a small little update. Uh, they don't sell those little blue batteries anywhere. I think you can get them on clearance, but I pretty much needed a, uh, an external charger for them anyway. So, so far, I guess, yeah, it's probably a good purchase. Make your life a little easier. It's one of those things where it's like, it's not like fun or glamorous to get. So it's not like a, this was a great product. It's more like a, oh, I got this, you know, 65 bucks more than I would want to pay. And then you're like, okay, it's probably going to be helpful down the line. I guess I recommend it, even though it's not really like a fun purchase. Just a small little update. Uh, my laptop's gonna come in a little bit early. I think it's, I think it's supposed to come in February 3rd. Right now, as I'm filming this, it is the 30th. So I'm really excited for that. I'll be able to shoot more. I got the terabyte in it. Um, I took back the M1 MacBook. Now I have the M2 coming in. I'm really stoked on that. Uh, definitely more content to come. I think I'm gonna cut my hours at work. Uh, just work a couple days a week and then push more full-time YouTube. I also have a lot of stuff happening. Uh, I've decided what I need to be able to film more content, tripod. Uh, first, actually, no lighting, good lighting. Like every time I happen to shoot, it just happens to be an overcast day, so the lighting is good today. But I, I am getting a soft box light. I am getting a new lens. I'm getting a rig. I'm getting. I'm. I'm leveling up YouTube in general and just making the audio better and everything. So yeah, hope you guys enjoy that. Okay, I will see you guys in the next video. I'm not sure exactly when that's gonna come out, but uh, hopefully soon. All right, bye.